Hey everyone, it's Disco Jewel. Um, just wanted to say hello to my new subbies as well. Um, so this is like a little haul. Um, if you guys follow me on Twitter, you'll know that just ordered some stuff from Coastal Sense, so I was waiting for that to come. And then I recently went to Mac and got a couple of things. Um, and then I ordered some stuff on CherryCulture.com. So if you follow me on Twitter, you probably know all of these things. Um, if you're not currently following me on Twitter, I ask that you please do. Um, my name on there is just Disco Jewel, so no surprises there. Um, so to get right into the haul, um, I'm going to start with the Coastal Sense one because I'm really excited. So I just got this little exfoliating brush or facial cleanser brush, I forget what it's called. Um, so if you watched my video on the benefits of getting a facial, um, the esthetician said that my skin could benefit from exfoliating two times a week. So I got this little brush on CoastalScents.com. It was $2.49, like $2.49 for this brush. I was like, that is an awesome price. So um, I read some reviews on the website before I bought it, and people were saying that it was a small brush. So um, this is... I expected a small brush because people said it was small. Um, so it is super small. And then other people wrote reviews and said that when they read reviews that it was a small brush, they expected it to be even smaller. And it's like, it's a pretty small brush. I don't know how small people expected the brush to be. Um, comes with this little cap thing. And every time I try to put the brush in there, some bristles are sticking out. But um, <laughs> that was a really attractive face. Uh, I haven't used it yet though, so um, there were also some reviews on there saying that the brush was like harsh on their skin, some people said it was not harsh, so we'll see. Um, the bristles, oh my god it's stuck, <laughs> the bristles don't feel particularly hard, so um, I think I'll be Then the other things, things that I got on Coastal Scents, um, I got two of their magnetic hot pot colors. This color I got is Hot Pot S28, the S stands for Shimmer, and then this is the Hot Pot M20, and the M stands for Matte. Um, so I got these two colors. I don't have a compact to put them in yet. Um, the price for the compacts, um, I don't think they're very reasonable. I think they're expensive for an empty compact, like there's no product in it, I would think that the price would have been a little cheaper. Um, eventually I'm going to have to break down and buy a, um, a compact to put um, And then the other thing that I wanted to mention about these two Hot Pot colors is um, this guy on YouTube, I think his name's Encore Makeup, um, he has like a million MAC eyeshadows and he bought a million Hot Pot colors and he did like um, comparisons between the Coastal Sense one versus the MAC one. Um, so I'll include what um, MAC color equivalents these colors are. So that's all that I got on Coastal Sense. Then Cherry Culture, I got two NYX lipsticks. Uh, one is Sash and then the other one is Athena. So these colors are really cute. They're both pink. Um, and then at MAC, I got um, a lip glass in underage, and then I got a hot pot in uh, Fresco Rose, so this is for a pink look that I, um, I've already tried it out in real life and worn it, and it's very wearable, um, so I'm going to do a video on it soon, but this is the primer, and then um, the underage, I actually like putting that with NYX's Athena, so I put the, you know, I line my lips. Um, put on Athena lipstick and then put underage on top of that um, and it comes out really cute. So uh, that is it for my haul and yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.